There is an unspoken standard in our society that you are to be perfect, that everybody has to be perfect, even though everybody knows that being perfect is impossible. Nobody is perfect. As a society, we need to move away from social media because it is detrimental to our mental health and our mental well-being because of how toxic it is. Um, when I was younger, I used to look up to all the people who I thought were perfect and I would try my hardest to be like them and I would change myself so that I could be more like them. And as I got a little older and got social media, I started to realize that being perfect on social media is pretty much the only way to go. If you're not perfect, you get bullied. If you're not doing the social standard of being perfect, then you are an outcast. And so out of curiosity, a couple weeks ago, I started looking through all my Instagram posts and I realized that every picture I have ever posted, they're all perfect. The lighting is perfect. My hair and makeup is perfect. The outfit I'm wearing is cute and perfect. And my caption is perfect. Everything about it is perfect. And it's just really sad to think about that because like, what is that doing to our mental health? Trying to be perfect all the time and like only posting pictures that are perfect. It's just so bad. We are falling into, well, we aren't falling. We are in a social epidemic that nobody seems to talk about. Nobody talks about the feeling that you get when two weeks ago you were getting 400 likes on your Instagram post and now you're getting 300. Nobody talks about how anxious that makes you feel that people aren't looking at you the same way that they used to or maybe your picture wasn't perfect enough or you weren't good enough and and it's so easy for people to write rude mean comments and bully you on social media because they don't have to say it to your face and they don't, you don't even get to make a comeback they can just say it they can type it out and then hit the send button and sometimes you don't even know who is saying the hateful rude things. It's so easy to bully on social media, which is so bad for your mental health because you hear the negative more than you do the positive things that people say. Or even like on TikTok, people are brutal on TikTok. I feel like we can all agree to that. If you think a video is funny and somebody else doesn't, they're gonna say something rude about how they didn't think your video was funny. Um, according to Harvard Medical School, social media is designed to release dopamine, which is the feel-good chemical in your brain, and these platforms are designed to be addictive. Have you ever found yourself spending hours on hours on TikTok or Snapchat or Instagram or even Twitter, just scrolling through because you're bored, just looking, and then you realize that two hours have gone by and it doesn't even feel like it's been two hours because they're designed to make you addicted to them and reliant on them because they don't want you going anywhere. When you post a picture and all for that day and even like a couple days later you're constantly getting notifications about so and so liked your picture, so and so commented and you're getting all these no notifications and you feel so good. You get adrenaline rushes and you get big boosts of confidence because people are being nice and you get overwhelming amount Joy, amounts of joy and you feel so good and you see yourself differently and then after a couple days go by the notifications stop and all of a sudden you're right back to where you were before you post the picture you're sad and you're anxious because you're not getting the attention that social media is giving you because it's so addictive and you are just sad and anxious until you post your next picture we are so reliant on social media and sometimes it's even our main source of communication. And we were just in a pandemic, well, we still are in a pandemic. Um, and we've been in a pandemic for almost two years now where for quite a while, a few months went by where all we did was be on social media. And that was the only way that we would talk to people and see other people was on social media because we were supposed to just quarantine and stay away from everybody that we lost a lot of communication skills because we're so used to just texting each other and Snapchatting each other that we're losing our ability to talk face to face and nobody seems to talk about that, which is just so bad and harmful to our mental health. The amount of anxiety and depression that social media causes is just insane. 
and as a society, in order to get out of this social media epidemic, we need to take a hard look at how harmful social media is on our mental health and try to stop it as much as possible and not use it if we can, or at least limit the amount of activity that we spend on social media. Because speaking from experience, um, the most happy I have ever been is when I don't have service. I'm not getting notifications. I'm not knowing what other people are doing. I'm just doing my own thing, doing my own, being my own person, and like that's the happiest I ever am is away from social media. So, if we want to get out of this epidemic, I strongly encourage everybody to try to take a break from social media for a while and just kind of figure out who they are as a person instead of who they are on social media. Thank you. Here's my note card.